Hi, it's Mandy. I want to tell you the secret of joy today. You didn't know I knew the secret, but I do. And you actually probably do too. You probably learned this as a kid. You probably learned this in Sunday school or church if you grew up that way. I heard my mom say this to me a million times and guess what? I rolled my eyes at her every time because I was an annoying teenager. But also, it's okay if you roll your eyes at me today too. It is cheesy, but it's truth. And so I wanted to share it with you today. I even wrote it on the board. The secret to joy in three steps, Jesus, others, and you. Putting Jesus first leads to pure joy. There's song after song on, after song on Air One about finding true joy by running to him first. And I'm so not good at that. I don't know if you are. I like to put the why first. Um, that's a messed up word. It just is. You won't find true joy in that at all. In fact, you'll go, what? but I do it all the time. I run to myself first. In fact, I'll even tell I'll even tell God, I'll go, hey, I'll come to you when I need you. But right now, let me try to figure it out. I put myself first in a lot of selfish ways. Whenever my husband and I are talking about uh, what's going wrong or why we're feeling a little depressed, it often leads with me being really selfish. And I know it, and I don't fix it. And that doesn't mean that you can't have you as a part of the equation, right? It's just Jesus first. You're in there, self-care still in there, taking care of yourself when you're not okay, it's okay, but it starts with him. And then you gotta work others in there too. And I'm reminded of this all the time when I wonder why I can't find joy. That's the root. So today and every day, if you're struggling with joy, start with him. He is our joy. It's cheesy, but it works. <laughs>